My name is David DeLuca. I'm a senior storage solutions architect at Amazon Web Services. In this video, I will demonstrate using AWS Backup to manage cross-region copies of your backups. Let's get started. AWS Backup is a fully managed, policy-based backup service. AWS Backup simplifies backup operations by automating backup scheduling, as well as retention and lifecycle management. It helps ensure compliance and security by centrally enforcing backup and audit policies. Finally, AWS Backup saves time and money by removing the need for custom backup solutions or manual processes. AWS Backup enables you to copy backups from multiple AWS services to different regions. You can copy backups either manually as an on-demand copy or automatically as part of a scheduled backup plan. You can also recover from those backups in the new region, reducing the risk of downtime and ensuring disaster recovery and business continuity requirements are met. Let's take a look at the architecture for our demonstration. We have an application called WebApp1 running in the Northern Virginia region. It consists of two EC2 instances and three file systems, EFS, FSx for Lustre, and FSx for Windows. Using AWS Backup, we will create a backup plan in which we specify the backup vault, as well as the schedule, retention requirements, and the resources to be included in that backup. We will then walk through the process of restoring services from that backup in the Northern Virginia region. We will also configure a copy job to the Northern California region, which will have its own backup vault. And we will walk through a demonstration of restoring a resource from WebApp1 in that region. Let's move on to the demonstration. Here we are in the AWS Management Console. AWS Backup is listed under the Storage category. Note that our region is set to Northern Virginia, which is where WebApp1 resides. To get started, we click Create Backup Plan, and then select Build a New Plan. Let's call the plan WebApp1. We will now configure our backup rule. Let's name this backup rule daily with copy. The backup needs to be stored in a backup vault. We'll create a new backup vault called WebApp1 source. We will use our default encryption key and hit create backup vault. We will set the backup frequency to daily. Let's create a customized backup window. We'll select a start time of 8 p.m. UTC. We'll make sure the job starts within one hour of that time and completes within six hours. Transition to cold storage is only relevant for EFS file system backups. This allows you to store the images at a reduced cost, but they must remain in cold storage for 90 days. The retention period tells AWS Backup how long to store these backups. Let's set this to 30 days. Under Copy to Destination, we're going to select the Northern California region. This will automatically create a copy of the backup jobs in that region. Note that there is an option to copy to a vault that's in a different AWS account. In this case, we're going to use the same account. Let's create a backup vault in that region called WebApp1 Target and click Create Backup Vault. Under Advanced Settings, we have the same two options that can be applied to the copy job. For the copy, let's transition the EFS backups to cold storage after two weeks. And let's retain these jobs for a period of six months. There is also an option to enable Volume Shadow Copy Service Snapshots on EC2 instances that are running Windows. We can now click Create Plan to continue. Our backup plan has been created. The next step is to assign resources to the backup plan. For this example, we'll use the default IAM role for creating and managing recovery points. You can assign resources by tags or by the resource ID. Let's select the resources that WebApp1 is using. There are two EC2 instances, an EFS file system, an FSx for Lustre file system, and an FSx for Windows file system. 
We then click Assign Resources. Our backup plan is complete, and it will run at the scheduled time. I'm going to pause the video so we can skip ahead to see the results of the backup. The backup window has elapsed. Looking at the backup plan, we see the last runtime was within the specified window. On the Protected Resources page, you can explore the details of resources that are under the protection of AWS Backup. On the Backup Jobs page, you can view the status of your backup, restore, and copy jobs. Here we can see that all of the jobs in our backup plan completed successfully. From the Backup Vault tab, we can gather additional information about our backups. We can also initiate a copy, delete, or restore. When you initiate a restore, a new resource is created. For each restore, you must specify the restore parameters. Those parameters are specific to the resource type. For example, if we restore one of our EC2 instances, the settings will include instance type, shutdown behavior, and tenancy. If we were to restore one of the file systems, we would have seen a different set of parameters. Now that we've submitted the restore job, let's pause the video and give it a chance to complete. The restore job is completed. Let's take a look at the EC2 console. As you can see, we now have a third instance. This is the one that was restored by AWS Backup. Since our backup plan included an automated copy to the Northern California region, let's explore AWS Backup in that region. Under Backup Vaults, we see the Web App 1 target that we created. And we can see that our backup jobs from the Northern Virginia region were indeed copied to Northern California. These copy jobs can be restored by the same method we used in the source region. Let's restore the FSx for Luster file system. Note that the restore parameters are unique to FSx for Luster. The restore job has been submitted. I'm going to pause the video again to give it a chance to complete. The restore job has completed. Let's take a look at the FSx console. And as we can see, our FSx for Luster for Web App 1 has indeed been restored. This concludes our demonstration. For more information, please visit aws.amazon.com backup. Thank you for your time.